Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a Morning Market Prep video for May 18th, 2022. Well, yesterday we extended that relief rally with a big gap up in the morning. Unfortunately, it just didn't seem, um, it just didn't seem, um, to have the energy that I'm guessing a lot of folks would have liked to have seen um, because we we ended up uh, meeting that big gap up with some bears that pushed us back down to fill the gap. And then right at the end of the day, after we learned that the FOMC was going to continue to aggressively raise interest rates until inflation came down, somehow those bulls found inspiration in that, pushing back up to the highs and ended up leaving behind on our index charts kind of some... Um, uh, patterns that those questionable patterns of a hanging man and that hanging man happened to come in right at resistance levels. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, we had that nice little rally yesterday continuing to extend us up. So four days in a row up, and the question is, can we continue to extend to the upside here today? Notice that here in the Dow, we're showing a little bit of bearishness this morning, and I'll show you one of the reasons that's coming into play. But we left behind that um, um, hanging man type pattern right up here at resistance and right here at the downtrend in the Dow. So if we can find that inspiration from the bulls, then we need to be able to find enough of it that we can push through, push through that resistance here in the chart. And once we get up here, prove that we can hold a higher low and then we have some upside opportunity uh, potentially to test other resistance levels in our chart. Um, but for now, we run that potential risk that we could push on back. Now the question is going to be, where do we find support? Now there is a little bit of price support and that's a tiny little price support right in here. So if we do push back down and hold in this area, we're probably going to be okay. If we continue to push on through that area, then we might sink right on back down to the lows. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully today. Um, unfortunately, there's just some uncertainty that came in this morning. We got earnings from uh, Lowe's this morning. Um, Lowe's disappointing, pushing on down. And then Target really disappointing this morning on its earnings reports and that's creating just a little bit of that bearishness that we're seeing here in the pre-market. We also had news that the UK's inflation um, um, hit a 40-year high at 9% and as a matter of fact if you read the story about it it's saying um, folks in the UK are um, a, a large percentage of folks are resorting to skipping meals um, as a result of the high prices over there. So not a good situation. And then at the same time, we had a national average gas price that continued to move up. We hit a new record um, at 4.567, um, basically 4.57 national average and diesel prices also ticked higher um, at $5.58 um, rounded up. So certainly not the best of situations here for our market um, as we continue to see that the, that bearish data coming our way now let's take a look here in the spine now SPY also had that really good day yesterday pushing up but once again left behind a bit of a um, hanging man pattern right here at price resistance in the chart and we'll want to note that we're right there at the downtrend so if we can find inspiration this morning for those bulls to push on through um, again very much like the Dow we'll have to get up there and prove to hold before we can start attacking additional levels in the chart and we don't have a whole lot of price support in in this chart you'll notice we've got 
just a little bit of price action here where we've got one, two, three, four, five candles right here, kind of tying in that little area there. So if the bears do push back, we'll look to that area to try and give us a little bit of support. And if that doesn't support, then look for a retest of lows um, in the SPY. So keep a close eye on that. Um, also keeping in mind our technicals here are pretty dismal and we could easily slip back down below that 500 day moving average um, here in the SPY. If we look at our QQQ, QQQ also showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning after leaving behind a hanging man right there at the price resistance of the downtrend. We didn't quite make it all the way up here into this price resistance level. As you can see, didn't quite have the energy to push us up there. So the possibility is the Qs could give us a little bit of help here and lift us up toward that resistance area. And we do have earnings tonight from Cisco that may provide us maybe um, a little bit of hope um, that that could occur. Now keep in mind right in here we have that little tiny support level again and that's just these candles that have held that area here um, as we've tried to, uh, well, pushing down and reversing back to the upside. So if we can find some support in there, if we do push down, that's that, um, that'll that be a level we'll want to keep an eye on. And remember our technicals here in the chart just continue to worsen as that 50 dives down towards that 500 day. Our shorter term moving averages, notice our 20 day moving average is really catching up to provide us with some additional um, technical resistance to the price resistance in the chart here on the NASDAQ. If we look at our Russell, our Russell also rallying right back to resistance. Now it didn't have, didn't have the same kind of hanging man type pattern, but we did rally right into that downtrend resistance. And we have the price resistance in the chart here that we're going to have to deal with. Now getting back above that is going to take some effort, I think. And if we can, we just, we have a massive level of resistance right here that we're going to have to deal with if we can get up through there. So if those bulls find inspiration and pop us up there, we're going to need to get up here and prove that we can hold before maybe attacking that level up there. And once again, if we fail, we have a very similar pattern here where we've got these several candles here kind of noting a small area of support. If those bears push down through there, then we would expect some new potential lows here in the market in our technicals here are um, really on the horrific side with the 50 crossing down through the 500. Notice our short term averages have already pushed down providing technical resistance as well in that Russell chart. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX had a nice day yesterday pulling back and the good news is that we broke this little upside trend. So pushing us back down. Unfortunately, we didn't break down this little area of price support. And um, we'll want to be watching that closely. Remember that 25 area, 26 area is a pretty substantial level of price support that extends way across the chart here. So we'll want to watch that carefully and see if we um, uh, have that potential of bouncing back up a little bit of fear coming in. Um, but I don't think it gets terrible unless we break this level up here. And that that's where we could really see um, those bears go to work if we pop through that resistance up there. So hopefully we can continue to see a little bit of calmness in the market, a little bit of rest down in here um, on that VIX. That would be nice to see. If we take a look at our um, T2122, now our T2122 still gives us that little bit of hope that we still have some upside potential here in the market. Notice we did extend up here pretty substantially yesterday in that upside move but we continue to have upside opportunity here before we reach that um, bearish situation, um, uh, that bearish reversal zone here in T2122. Um, if um, we can continue to see that lift, then we might start breaking some of those resistance areas. And that certainly could trigger a bit of a short squeeze. So keep an eye on that if we can push on through. Now also keep in mind, we've extended quite a bit here really quickly. And if those bears find that inspiration, then we certainly opened up more opportunity for the downside. So watch that close. Our T21, 
07, unfortunately, it improved, but it didn't really fix anything. As you can see, we broke back into that resistance area of the chart. Our downtrends remain in play. We have substantial resistance above. And even though we had you know, a 400 plus day on the Dow, only 26% of our stocks making it back above that 200 day moving average. Not exactly a bullish case for the market, but it is hopeful in the sense that we're so bearish that maybe we can continue to squeeze that rally a little bit more. If we take a look at T2108, very similar situation in that where we rallied back up now we did break up through some resistance you can see popped back up through some of that resistance so that is hopeful we continue to maintain these overall downtrends unfortunately in t2108 and there's a lot of resistance above and once again 23 percent of the stocks pushing above its 40 day not exactly the bullish case that we'd probably feel much more comfortable with if we could start to see those numbers approaching uh, 50 percent um, in that um, indicator. Our T2101 was kind of interesting yesterday and even though we rallied pretty sharply yesterday um, interestingly enough, we really didn't catch a momentum move to push this T2101 uh, back down. We just kind of halted in here, um, kind of spinning around, I guess. So I'm not real sure we're getting great data here. And one of the reasons we may not be getting great data, if you take a look at the volume as it turned out um, here yesterday, um, although we rallied strongly, I think it was more short covering than actual buying going on in here because our volumes remained very, very low here um, yesterday. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, we've got a few things on here this morning that we're going to, I mean, economic calendar, a few things on here we're going to want to pay attention to um, um, here this morning. First off, we've got um, the mortgage applications. Let's just check that that just recently came in see where those mortgage came yeah that was a, something I was afraid of um, um, the prior was uh, 2.0 on those mortgage applications came in at a negative 11 percent and um, we see purchasing index following 11.9 percent and refinance index falling 9.5 percent so certainly um, there is some restriction happening in the home buying as rates continue to rise and um, inflation in affects um, our consumers um, later on this morning we've got um, um, housing um, starts in permits um, consensus is expecting that to decline slightly we'll want to watch that I think there is that potential it could decline substantially so watch carefully that could add a little bit of bearish element if it does if it comes in better than expected of course that could provide that bullish element to push us back up and then we've got our petroleum status numbers we know our energy costs are, are pretty darn extreme and we don't seem to be doing much to fix that problem um, um, with our administration. So watch those closely. That could either help or hurt those energy prices. We've got bond auctions today, 52 week and a 20. Um, I'd be kind of keeping an eye on that 20 bond auction because they're starting to creep back up slightly. And then we have a Fed speaker after the bell today. So watch that closely as you're preparing for thursday keep in mind we've got jobless claims philly fed and existing home sales to deal with on um, thursday morning let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar we're starting to diminish in those earnings and um that that can be a good thing or a bad thing uh, with the uh, uncertainty that we've seen in earnings this season um, it might actually be helpful if we eliminate those extra reasons for volatility and they're dropping off all this week um, but we have those notables and I've already talked about this morning Lowe's and um, Target both disappointing this morning let's take a look at a couple others we have um, TJX reporting today it looks like a little bit of an uncertain candle here this morning on TGX uh, maybe 
um, um, kind of punted um, on its earnings report. Um, IBEX is one that we'll want to be watching today. Um, um, SCVL is another on that list. Looks like we've got Shoe Carnival, got a little positive pop coming in on that one here this morning. And um, last one I'll cover this morning, ZIM. You'll want to keep an eye on that. Shipping and ports trying to perk up here just a little bit this morning on its earnings report. If you want to catch the full list of notables, please guys make sure and click that link just below the title of the video. Take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. So, what do we have for stock setting up today? Well, how about we take a look at those just as soon as if you guys could do me just a quick favor here. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you could also do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I do try to answer um, all of those comments. I am um, watching those closely every day. Unfortunately, it's something I have to do because there's quite a little bit of spam that comes in and I just have to consistently keep deleting those out. So I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. They are important to me. I do try to answer them every day and um, you guys truly humble me every day with your kind words. Thank you so much. Now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful how you approach a market with so much volatility in it. Um, I, I know the emotions get very high in a market like this, but sometimes some of the best things that you can do is stand aside until you have a better edge in trading. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks. Um, um, as you guys know, I've been holding um, CLX. Um, CLX it, um, has been a nice profitable trade for me. I also have a short position on CLX where I have sold covered calls on the trade, the 175 calls. And that has also proved to be a profitable um, choice here in that uh, trade. Now I'm looking at this nice little consolidation. This is a defensive sector stock and that opportunity that CLX could come on up here and finish filling that gap. So I'm watching that closely. We have a nice little pattern set up here and all we need is just that little bit of bullishness coming into the market that could push that on higher. And we've been seeing a lot of these um, stocks do pretty well. Now, yesterday it was interesting in some of these stocks, um, the defensive sector stocks, with the gap up we had, um, initially some of these stocks started to push down, but um, they pushed right back up on the day. Take a look at Kellogg's, had uh, really sold hard first thing in the morning, pushed right back up and that possibility that we could move on through to the upside on some of these old boring companies like uh, GIS and Post had a beautiful day yesterday, pushing on through um, resistance levels in the chart. As you guys know, I've been mentioning these stocks for quite a while and they're continuing to show lots and lots of strength. Anything in that food related area, very, very strong. You guys might also want to keep an eye on um, wheat. Um, wheat um, had a really good day yesterday, pushing right back up here to some resistance highs. And it looks like it might get a little bit of relief here today. But as we know, the war in um, Russia uh, or in Ukraine, um, about 40% of the nation of the world's wheat comes from um, Russia and Ukraine. And unfortunately, um, there's not much planting going on um, over there, as you might guess. So we're probably looking at those supplies um, being a, a little bit strained. And I suspect wheat um, food prices could continue to rise as long as that um, situation continues. We also had a pretty good rise in um, corn um, um, continuing to push up. It looks like we're pulling back a little bit today um, trying to deal with this resistance but as you can see those commodity prices remain very very strong so take a look at those. If you're looking for some short positions um, it might be interesting to take a look at um, some of these big banks. Take a look at Goldman Sachs. Now Goldman Sachs has rallied right into the downtrend here and we'll want to watch that carefully if Goldman fails in here. 
that that would just be another follow through to the downside. And although I know Warren Buffett um, created a big, uh, big stir here with a large position in Citibank, I don't really see this as bullish just yet, but it is possible if you want to find along here and follow along with, with Warren Buffett, for me, it's gonna have to push through that downtrend as we've done. It's gonna have to prove a higher low and then I can maybe think about resuming an uptrend to the upside. But when I look at other stocks in this sector, uh, they're not doing well. Um, and with mortgage applications dropping the way they did this morning, um, I just can't imagine we're gonna continue to see um, these. Um, I think, I, I believe we're going to continue to see these stocks suffer. So watch that carefully here, that possibility um, in some of these stocks that we could roll over into those short positions um, to the downside. Now, be kind of careful here. Um, there's been tremendous hype um, um, coming in on AMD. I mean, it's just, it's one report after another as they're trying to talk up AMD um, from the talking heads. But I want to warn you here that we're pushing pushing up into the downtrend here in the chart. Now that can be fine, that can be a good, a good thing if we can prove to hold a higher low. So what I mean by that is we've broken through some resistance levels here in the chart. Now we need either a break, move on, continue on up, break through that downtrend resistance and hold a higher low up here, or we might need a little rest or pullback to prove a higher low here. And then there would be a pretty reasonable opportunity to maybe get involved in an AMD. But um, we'll wanna watch that closely. Remember, um, AMD reported fantastic earnings, but continued to find sellers. And if the market remains bearish, that certainly can still be the case here in a chart like that. So watch those closely. Other places, if you're looking for long positions, guys, it's it's pretty hard. I know, you know, we continue to see these oil prices go up and up and up, but doggone it, um, uh, that's where the money is right now. Uh, money is going into defensive sector type stocks, um, strong dividend paying type stocks and oil and energy type stocks. A little bit of healthcare is mixed in there um, with, uh, with some of those looking pretty good, but um, this is where the money is right now. It's where the money is flowing. And you can see here in Devon breaking new resistance areas in the chart. Look for a rest or pullback for the next opportunity in there. If we take a look at ExxonMobil, that continues to stretch on through, trying to break resistance here this morning to the upside. Take a look at Occidental um, breaking through to the upside just everywhere you look in that energy sector, lots and lots of bullishness. And the same is true in the natural gas um, area, um, UNG. This is something I have a bias in because I'm holding it. Um, but as you can see, um, natural gas continues to move up. You can take a look at uh, Boyle, that's looking good. You can take a look at Kinder Morgan, which is pretty much a natural gas pipeline, but um, you can see continuing to show lots of strength um, in these stocks. So um, lots of opportunity in that energy sector. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Be very, very careful here today. That possibility that we could pull back does exist. So make sure you're planning your risk carefully and watching those overhead resistance levels in the charts. I wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one everyone.